and gentlemen, that is the day the Lord hath made. Rejoice and be glad in it. You live in America. Hello. At Hype University, we value God, family, and country. And every year, we honor the veterans. We have a 1,000 veterans who come to our campus to fellowship, to dine together, but mostly to remember the virtues of our nation and for us to thank them all for the service that they rendered to the United States of America. High Point seeks to surround students here with heroes, models, and mentors. We tell our students who you spend time with is who you become. Today, they're face-to-face -face with you, veterans. It is fantastic, and it's so fun to see them come on campus and their faces light up, and being able to honor them is just really special, I think, to a lot of the students. People who, who step forward to put on the uniform and serve, you know, they're not doing it for themselves, they're doing it for a lot of other people. You realize that these are some of the most selfless people uh, that you'll ever come into contact with. You know, what good is it to take a class on history and study about Vietnam or Korea or World War II if you've never really met a veteran face to face, shook his or her hand, and listened to their stories and their life experience? This is the premier life skills university, which means everything we teach has to be also felt. This is very, very special. This is the first time that I've been here for this event. It brought a tear to my eyes, you know, like that. It made us that serve this country love this country more. Coming from the Vietnam era when not many people said thank you when you finished, it's very special to have students waking up this early in the morning to say thank you. I'm so proud of everybody. Just when we got off the bus, everybody was clapping for us. I've never experienced that before, but I think that's wonderful. There's an old proverb that says, I hear and I forget, I see, I may remember, I do, I understand. So there's a reason why we had all these students, hundreds of them welcoming you this morning. Yes, because we wanted you to feel welcome, but we have an agenda. We wanted them to understand that their freedom happens because you were willing to sacrifice your life so this country can live on. And when you teach students that, When you teach students that, they'll remember. On behalf of Operation CARE, I'm proud to announce that our chapter over the past year has been able to fundraise over $40,000 to donate to the Independence Fund to provide two wounded veterans with all-terrain track chairs. I cannot thank you all enough. We only are able to do what we do to honor and care for our veterans and their families because of the support that you all and our other generous donors give. Our students raise money to buy these motorized chairs so that a veteran who cannot move about can enjoy and benefit from such a piece of equipment. Those chairs cost $25,000, and our students step up and make it happen. It's been 10 years since I've been to the beach or anywhere with my wife and kids, so and I say from the bottom of my heart, and I'm sure the bottom of his too, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. To the practical, pragmatic interpretation of the values that we hold so dear here. When you came here this morning, you saw that American flag, big American flag. This is so that our students can be reminded not only on Veterans Day, but on every day that you were willing to serve your country. America, America, God shed his grace on thee.